I want to walk you through the process of importing all of the contacts you have in your Outlook contacts or Outlook address book into Address 2. I'm inside Outlook and the first thing you need to know is that you've got to get the contacts out of Outlook into a format we call a CSV file in order to import that into Address 2. So let's start here. Step 1 is to click on the Contacts tab in your Outlook. Then go to File, sorry, File, Import and Export. When you open Import and Export, you want to go to Export to a File, click Next. The first option, Comma Separated Values DOS, click Next. Now it's going to default to whatever view you had already opened. If you were still in your inbox, you want to make sure that contacts is actually what you're exporting. We don't want to export your inbox, that's not going to help us. So we're going to export contacts. And now we simply have to tell it where to put this file. I'm going to click on Browse and I'm going to put this on my desktop. It just makes it easy for me to get to. And it's called nixoutlook.csv. Click OK. Next. The following actions will be performed. Export contacts from the folder contacts into that CSV file. I'm going to go ahead and click finish now. And if I minimize all the windows that I had open, <laughs> we can now see that I have a new um, file on my desktop called Nix Outlook CSV. And when I open it up in Excel, you'll see that a CSV file is really just an Excel spreadsheet. It's a simple version of a spreadsheet that Excel will um, read and edit. Now why did I open this in Excel? Because it shows me I have a ton of fields in here and probably won't really use all of them. So one of the things that I like to do when I open this up is just to save me time. Things like internet free busy um, language. I mean, I mean who tells Outlook what language this person speaks? So there's there's oodles and gabs of columns that we can just highlight and delete. They have things in here that represent communication forms from like the 80s. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just look for, for wide open, completely empty fields that have nothing in them and just get rid of them. Pager. Pager? Who has a pager anymore? So in any case, I'm going to delete these columns. You don't have to do this, by the way. It's just going to save a little bit of time and, and hassle in the future. When you get done, go ahead and save. Now, this is one thing to be aware of. Excel will always warn you that this is a CSV file, and you're going to they tell you you're going to lose some data. You're not actually going to lose anything. It's okay. You can ignore this and click Yes. The only thing that you actually lose is um, they're trying to tell you that since this is a simple spreadsheet and it only just stores data. Uh, if you had created any formulas or any special formatting that Excel allows you to, to do, it won't be um, stored in the CSV. And that's okay. All we're trying to do is bring over values, bring over the data from one program to another. So I just saved that, ignored the warning, and now I'm going to move to Address 2. Within Address 2, I'm going to click on Admin. And under the Contact Management section, I've got Upload Contacts. If I go here, I have two options, Import from a V card. That's a totally separate process, and I can import from a CSV file. If you have both options, vCard and CSV, I highly recommend using a CSV because it does give you more control over what gets imported and where you put it. You can also import more data from a CSV file because you can contain more data in a CSV file. So, of course, I'm going to go to a CSV. Now, this is just an interstitial page that gives you a little bit of training and tells you what you can import. Matter of fact, I probably, when I'm done recording this video, might embed it right here. <laughs> Proceed to file uploads. I'm just going to go ahead and skip that page. And now what I need to do is go find that file that I had exported from my Outlook. And it was called Nix Outlook CSV. Now I'm going to upload it. And my file is ready to import and it automatically moves me on to the next step. This step is where some people get a little confused. What we're looking at here is a mapping field, or a mapping page, if you will. What mapping means is there we are listing your CSV fields and asking you to map it to our address two fields. What's a CSV field? Well, these are, if you look at this list, these are the column headings from the spreadsheet. All we did was we read row one. And we said, these are your fields, first name, 
middle name, last name, company, department. Those are the things that we found in the spreadsheet. And we're saying, what does this equate to in address to? So this column, column B, where the first column or the first row was first name. What does that equate to? And I'm going to map that first name. Company, that was in there too. Last name, that was in there. Date of birth, that was in there. It was way down near the bottom. I think they may have called it birthday. Um, there it is, birthday. Anniversary, was that in there? Maybe not. Oh, anniversary. And so on down the row. We can map all these fields. You may start to map things in, for example, the categories or description field that you had in Outlook. Possibly could correlate to a business description field in Address 2. So I may come down, find, this is why I said to delete. If I hadn't deleted all of those um, columns, I would have even more to sort through here. You get the idea. You can map those fields to whatever you would like them to go to in address two. A couple of things you might want to do. Account manager. Instead of mapping a field, because in Outlook you didn't have everything tagged with your username being the account manager. What you may want to do here is make this a fixed value. So everything that gets imported I'm going to pick to have my account, my name as the account manager. Even though it wasn't a spreadsheet field, I'm going to import that. Or status, maybe everyone in my Outlook was a customer. So on and so forth. When you get done, you may save these field mappings, especially if you have dozens of users in your company that all use Outlook. You may save the field mappings as your Outlook map so that now, after you've done it for one user and you go to everyone else's Outlook, you can just load these mapped uh, field settings the second time and reuse it. Once you click Import Contacts, you're done. It's that simple.